today I decided that I wanted to film a what I eat in a day. I'm just gonna take you through some simple recipes that I like to follow. And actually all of these ended up being vegan and gluten free. So if you have like sort of a restrictive diet and you're looking for some food inspiration, then hopefully I can give you some ideas here. So the first meal that I decided to start out with was this avocado toast. So I decided that I wanted to recreate the best avocado toast I have ever had in my entire life. It's originally from this place called The Local Juicery in Flagstaff. I ended up actually finding the recipe online and then I got all the ingredients for it so I could like recreate it. So first I just started off with some Ezekiel bread. I really like this bread just because it's not necessarily gluten free but I feel like it has such clean ingredients that it doesn't mess with my stomach at all. When I was actually at the juicery and they were making the toast, I was kind of like watching what they were doing and they had like this squirt bottle of like vegetable oil or just whatever oil and they just covered the toast in oil so I was like well I better do that. I just spooned a little bit of oil on each side of the toast and then stuck that in the toaster. While that was in the toaster I mashed up half of an avocado. some sprouts and just kind of put that in the avocado spread as well. Once the toast was ready, I put the avocado spread all over the toast. So I found online that they used this vegan chipotle mayo and I actually found it at my grocery store. So I ended up using that and I originally just tried like spooning it on but it didn't look as pretty when I did that. It was just kind of globbing everywhere. So I ended up just putting it in like a little plastic bag and then piping it onto the toast, which is so extra. You do not have to do that, but it was more for like the look of it. And then added a little bit of Himalayan salt. So then I just sprinkled over some nutritional yeast. The original recipe called for chipotle flakes. Um, but I didn't have that and I could not find that at the grocery store either So I just put crushed like red pepper flakes and I felt like that had the same flavor That was the finished product and I didn't even record me eating it because I downed that thing so fast Like it was so good. This day I ended up having a lot of avocado actually because my mom ended up making some guacamole. Throughout the day, we just kind of snacked on some chips and guac, but I will insert the footage here of how she likes to make her guac. So 
So going into dinner, I decided to make a Buddha bowl. I love making these bowls so much. Like this is my staple dinner that I make when I'm in college because it's so easy to make. It's got lots of like veggies, grains, starches, like it's just good for you. I started off by preheating my oven to 425 degrees and I chopped up about half of a sweet potato. Uh, make sure to wash and peel it. Then I just dice the sweet potato up into little cubes. And I covered it with some olive oil and then sprinkled over some salt and pepper. And then I just toss those around and you stick them in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then every 10 minutes I like to go in and kind of just toss them around and flip them to make sure that each sides are getting cooked evenly. While the sweet potatoes are cooking, I like to cook up either some quinoa or brown rice. This time I decided to do quinoa. This time I decided to cook up some broccoli and cauliflower, so I just deep thawed those by sticking them under the sink under some hot water. And then I heated up a pan with some oil and stuck the vegetables in there. At first I just put them on a little bit of like a low heat so they can kind of cook from the inside out, I guess. And then once they start to soften up, that's when I turn the heat up a little higher. And then in a separate pan, I decided to cook some chickpeas. I just heated up a pan with some oil, stuck the chickpeas in there, put some salt and pepper on them. Um, you can add like cumin or paprika. I was feeling cumin that night, so you can kind of like switch it up just depending on what you're feeling. I cook them on the pan until they get like a hard outer shell just because I like to have a little bit of a crunch to the chickpea. And then I'll continue cooking my vegetables until they start to brown a little bit and like look cooked. I don't know how to explain that very well. Once they get to that point where the vegetables have like a little bit of brown to them, I like to add some spinach and just cook that in really quick because you might as well add as many veggies as you can. And spinach doesn't really have a taste anyways, so it's just good to add more greens, I guess. And then basically you just put the quinoa on a bowl, add your veggies, your sweet potatoes and your chickpeas. So usually I like to add some everything but the bagel seasoning and just kind of sprinkle it over the top. So yeah, that was a pretty simple what I eat in a day. I just feel like a lot of these meals are pretty versatile. And if you're not necessarily like the vegan type, you can always replace the potatoes with chicken or any other meat that you like. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have more recipes coming because I love cooking and I have a ton of recipes that I wanna share with you guys because especially when I'm in college, like I, when I was broke and I had no groceries, I really had to improvise. There was one time where I had a sweet potato and some oatmeal and I ended up making flatbread out of that because I had nothing else, so. Yeah, so there's definitely gonna be more videos like this coming. That's it for this video, so thank you guys for watching and, um, yeah, look forward to more videos like this in the future. So, bye guys.